Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see Cadenay's algorithm which is used for solving the maximum sum subarray problem. So as you may know, the maximum sum subarray problem is that we have an array of negative and positive integers and we have to find the maximum sum possible from any of its subarray, any of its contiguous subarray. So I've already made one video of this, of how to do this using divide and conquer. But divide and conquer can be difficult to understand and even more difficult to implement into code. And it has a runtime of O of n log n. So Cadenay's algorithm does this in O of n time. And not only that, but it is very simple to understand and it uses dynamic programming. So if you don't know dynamic programming, don't let the words dynamic programming scare you because even if you have no introduction to DP, this is still very intuitive and if you have some idea, you'll be able to understand this because it is very simple. So let's get down to it. So what the idea is that we'll be having a variable called sum, it will be equal to zero initially and we'll have a variable called maximum. Let's say this is equal to minus one initially or minus, let's say int underscore max. Yeah, so maximum will be minus infinity or max minus negative possible and sum will be zero. So what we'll be doing is we'll keep on adding the elements to sum and whenever sum is less than zero, then we turn sum to zero. Because if we add a positive element to a negative value and if we add the same positive element to a zero, so adding it to zero will give the greater sum. So to traverse through the array plus plus and here n is the size of the array which is 8 so i less than n i plus plus so as i said we'll do sum is equal to sum plus a of i and if sum is less than 0 then sum should be 0 because if sum is less than 0 then we can rather not take anything and let sum be 0 because 0 is better than negative. So if the current sum is negative, then we have another option of not taking anything and letting sum be 0. And then we just have to take the maximum value of sum. So for that, we have the variable maximum. So if sum greater than maximum, then maximum equal to sum. So this will hold the maximum variable will hold the maximum value of sum possible and that itself will be the maximum value of the sub array possible. So let's input it, let's output it and see what the value is for this very array minus 1, 4, 3, 2, minus 4, 3, 2, 5, minus 10, 6, minus 3. So if you just look at it from the outside, you can see that you have 4. So if you take 4, minus 3 will be 1, 1 plus 2 will be 3, 3 plus 5 will be 8. And if you take this, 5 minus 10 will be minus 5. So you should rather not take it and so 6. So the maximum value will be 8. So let's see if our algorithm is able to find that. Yeah, so we're getting the answer 8, which is, if I show you what is happening in sum at each point. Yeah. Okay, so I missed some. Yeah. So I'll show you what is happening to sum at each point so you have a better understanding. Yeah. So initially sum is minus one, but as sum is less than zero, then sum is again turned to zero. Then we add four to it, so sum is four. And as sum is not less than 0, we do not change. And right now, maximum is 4. Then again, we add minus 3 to it, so sum, sum becomes 1. And then we add 2 to it, sum becomes 3. We add 5 to it, sum becomes 8. And that is the maximum value. And then 8 plus minus 10 minus 2, then again, sum is turned to 0. And then sum is 6. And then 6 plus minus 3, sum is 3. And from all the values of sum, the maximum is 8. So this is how Cadenay's algorithm is able to do 
the maximum sums are very problem in O of n time, which uses dynamic programming and is very simple to understand. Thank you.